What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Showdown Live. Today I'm alone, very sad, I'm gonna cry about it. But uh, in the spirit of making sure that the Showdown Live with Friends series remains being the only place we use some funny stuff. I mean, I'm gonna use funny stuff on my own too, right? Uh, but today we're gonna do something that's like more tangentially funny. We won't be using like a bottom tier like Wug Trio, which did surprisingly okay or squawkability which for some reason won every single game we brought it to no today we're going to try out one of the paradox mons and i think that's what i'm going to do whenever i'm alone we're just going to do the paradox mons or like something that's actually strong but i'm going to try to build it in kind of a cool way and what i want to do for this video is use a really fun idea i had for protosynthesis booster energy brew bonnet but before we get into that if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time do me a favor leave a like on it subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because i bring you daily competitive pokemon content answer my comment question of the day what do you think is actually going to be the worst paradox form let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys want some bonus content you can check that out on my patreon on my twitch sub i guess or with a youtube channel membership all three of those get you an extra video at the top of the week don't feel pressured to support the channel in that way if you can't because a like and subscribe does more than enough but let's get into it all right i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna plug that every time i do a video like i, I want to figure out a way to do it where it's not like super intrusive so i have to get like my slogan down you know anyways the way we're running this is just straight up offensive this is gonna be the most brutal mushroom you've ever seen okay so we're running booster energy here's the funny idea i had right so the booster energy obviously activates immediately, giving us an attack boost uh, with, you know, protosynthesis. So the moveset we're going to run is going to be a very standard one with Spore, Sucker Punch, Seed Bomb, and get ready. We're not running Protect. Guess what we're running? We're running Thief. Look, so our item is going to be consumed immediately. That means that if we're able to get a Spore off, we can actually Thief something. Like, we might be able to take a really cool item from a Pokemon. Like, I don't know, it's not often we face something with like a Miracle Seed, but I guess that's a thing. But you know, like a Life Orb, a Lumberry, those sort of things are very useful. Or even versus like uh, versus like King Gambit, it, or uh, even a, an Iron Hands. If we take an Assault Vest from that guy, while we won't be able to use Spore anymore, we're still a very offensive threat and we become extremely bulky. So yeah, as for Terra type, obviously Terra Dark is gonna be the best play here. Um, and there actually is an interaction uh, I forget what the number is. I think it's only with like 40 base power moves, but when you Terra, it like boosts the power of the move before activating the Terra booster. I forget what it is exactly. I'll make a YouTube short about it, but I think it's only for like really low power moves like Nuzzle. But as for what this team's going to be, I'm obviously running max speed with Spore. Uh, so I actually really want to find a good Tailwind user to run this guy next to because I think it could be very scary. As far as that though, I think we may go with Roaring Moon, but it's also it's also gonna give us another dark type, which I'm not a very big fan of. Uh, we could look into using like uh We could look into using like Talonflame here. Let's do Talonflame for now. Or like Covert Cloak Talonflame. Yeah, that doesn't seem that bad. Uh, especially since we're probably gonna end up playing closed team sheet most of the time with people not accepting the uh the request. Uh, this'll probably be just fine. But yeah. Let's do this. 31. And we're going to go with Tailwind, Will-O-Wisp, Brave Bird. Actually, does it get any other good flying moves or am I going to have to run Brave Bird? It gets Acrobatics. Not that that'll activate too often. Um, Yeah, we're going to have to go with Brave Bird. Not the biggest fan of that. Brave Bird. And we'll probably do Quick Guard to help partners, maybe. I mean, I guess we do have the Covert Cloak, so it doesn't matter that much. But that could be really good for the uh, for the Brute Bonnet lead. It makes it so we pretty much always get a Spore off on things. Uh, I'm actually really into that. I'm actually really into that, but maybe Fire Coverage is good too. Uh, we'll figure that out in a second. As for the Terra type though, I'm kind of fine with Terra, Terra Flying, just to get a little bit more damage off on this thing. All right. As for the other Pokemon, let's think. I want to hit something very hard. We can slap a Golden Go on this guy. Garganical is quite powerful this format, so I think Life Orb Golden Go is a good call. Uh, let's just go ahead and run like standard, uh, timid, max speed, max special attack with make it rain, shadow ball, nasty plot, and protect. Not Needle Arm. Yo, Golden Go is kind of built like a Cacturn though. You guys see that? They could be cousins. Anyways. All right. Uh, nasty plot and protect. And we'll keep that Terra Steel on there. All right, uh, I definitely think that like Water, Fire, Grass is a very good combo. 
for this format. It almost feels necessary in some cases. So as for a water type, if we're playing hyper offense, iron bundle is probably the play, but I actually quite like rain. Dude, are we always going to run rain? I feel like the past few teams, we've like ran rain every single time. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we've been running a lot of rain. Let's not run rain. Let's just do iron bundle. Uh, iron bundle on the team. I don't know if I want to give him a life orb. I think I want to give him sash. Yeah, we'll do like sash, freeze dry, hydro pump, uh, terra water, icy wind, protect. There are going to be some people in the comments right now that are like, Marcos, why aren't you running? Why aren't you running up? Protect is your first move. Look, I know it's optimal. I just I just don't care. Uh, let me think. Okay, we're actually going to run special defense as our last EV because right now odd HP is really good versus Garganical because you don't want to lose to Garganical uh, off of four salt cure turns. Let me think. So we have like our hyper offense mode. We could slow things down. An Intimidator would be quite nice. I might... I don't know if I want to go Arcanine. Salamence is a legit Pokemon. That's the thing I could do. Maybe I don't bring Intimidator. I need like one more really strong mode. Don't currently have a Fake Out user, so we could do like Fake Out Trick Room and then Brubonnet's still very useful. Garchomp's also something I've been thinking about bringing back. Hmm. Do I throw the Iron Hands on here? I don't know. I don't know. What if I do Obama Snow? What if I actually do like a really nasty like Iron Bundle Obama Snow combo? That'd be kind of gross. And I'm not quite feeling it. Like we're, we're getting silly, but I don't want to get too into the silly weeds, you know? Let me think. I'm trying to think of what I played recently. Let me actually pull up Limitless. Look at the results that tournament was in last week. Uh, we definitely see, like, Iron Hands, Arcanine stuff, uh, Meowskarat is still quite good, Roaring Moon. I could use a Fairy-type. Yeah. I might go Sylveon. Yeah, let's do, like, Sylveon and then, like, a Soft Trick Room mode, I think. Let me just steal a Sylveon spread that I built. Sorry, excuse me. And this is still nicknamed Make Faster Than Meow because I actually, I forgot to make it faster than Meow Scarada. My EV spread was wrong. But yeah, basically this is just like a Tailwind, but also like Soft Trick Room Sylveon. It hits enough speed where it'll outspeed Meow Scarada and be able to hyper voice it. But beyond that, 97 speed's fine for a Trick Room set. Uh, and for my last Pokemon, I suppose a Trick Room setter isn't that bad, but Iron Hands could also be quite good. Or some kind of fake out Pokemon. Let me think. I'm actively avoiding running Trick Room on this team, or not Trick Room, running uh, running Pelipper and like Palafin on this team, because I feel like I feel like in my recent teams I've been really carried by Pelipper Palafin. What about Golden? Not Golden Go. What about um Gothitelle Brute Bonnet? That gives me a Fake Out user, and trapping things in with this team seems really nice. It also gives me like a Helping Hand. Ooh, I don't know. I need like a nice physical attacker. That's the thing. Definitely need a good physical attacker. Maybe we do go Garchomp. Maybe we do actually go Garchomp here. I think I'm going to try it. Yeah, I haven't used this dude in a minute either. Okay. That's actually sort of make me want to move the cloak to Garchomp because I had this idea for Cloak Garchomp in the video earlier today and it really improves the Garganical matchup. But I think we'll just go clear amulet for now. And we'll do uh, Protect, Soars. I'm going to get the moveset right on at least one of these guys. Uh, Earthquake and I think I'm going to drop Dragon and just give it Iron Head. No Dragon coverage because I want to be able to set up... Um, I want to be able to set up in front of Fluttermane. So we'll do this. A very basic team today. Well, not very basic. We're kind of messing with things quite a bit. We're building like a, a sort of a new thing here. Uh, and I think I will go Quick Guard. Yeah, I think I will go Quick Guard here. Unless there's like a reason to run fire coverage on this guy. I guess I... We have Terra Fire on the Sylveon. Is there a reason to run fire coverage? There's a lot of Terra Grass mons running around right now. Um... Oh, what's our Dondozo matchup? 
What is our Dondozo matchup? Hold on. Hold on. Let me think about this. How do we beat Dondozo? <laughs> let me reconsider. Let me reconsider. Uh, let me copy you and we'll, we'll like, we'll figure this out in a second. Okay. Maybe I do just go Palafin. Palafin without rain seems a little bit odd though, because I want to be able to run Haze. What's got Haze? I don't have any setup mons on this besides Golden Go, and he doesn't he doesn't really care about that. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? I think we are gonna go Palafin. I think we are gonna go Palafin. Uh and for the sake of running hyper offense, let's just choice band it. Yeah, let's do choice band. Flip turn. That also helps out with like the uh the quick guard. That's actually really nice. Okay. We'll do flip turn, wave crash, close combat, jet punch. And we'll just do adamant max speed. Looks good. Actually, what's timid golden goes max speed? 149, let's hit 150. Bam. Totally worth it. No, I want to hit the 100. Okay. Uh, let's hit the ladder with this. Obviously, I just built it. This could be complete garbage, but I really want to run Thief Brute Bonnet. So let's see what we can do. VGC 2023. I'm on my alt account. I have no idea what the ladder is on this. I've only played a couple of games. I played five games total. We're at 180. We're at 1085. Let's see what we can do. All right. Uh, this is literally. This is literally GSOC Lee's team. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I like taking the leftovers away from it. But also, the immediate seed bomb seems kind of nasty. Could also lead off Palafin. I think I'm going to do the Palafin lead. Yeah. Because Meowskrata doesn't have much it can do versus that since I have guaranteed uh, Tailwind turn one. So do Palafin plus Talonflame. They have the Trick Room option. Uh, I'm going to bring Golden Go, or maybe I just to go, maybe I just go Golden Go Talonflame to like secure a KO turn one. Because it's Sash and the Meowskarada is the only issue. You know, I'm going to go Brew Bonnet Talonflame. I don't care. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty good lead for me. I basically get a free flip turn off. And I can go right into Golden Go. And Tailwind here. I should do a decent amount to Garganacle. I'm going to say it differently every single time. I pronounce it Garganacle, but... You, know, you can say it however you want. Garganacle. Garganachi. Goldango. <laughs> there are many ways... You Why would you do that? There's no wrong way to pronounce it. Okay, yo, check this out. Check this out. This is going to be the sickest play you've ever seen. Oh, wait. I think this guy's got choice specs is the issue. Maybe we just KO Garganical. I swear, if I take a choice specs from this thing, I'm going to cry. Check this out. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Turn one, we're doing this. I outspeed. Oh, I already tailwinded. I'm an idiot. That's a one shot. And I got the choice specs. I don't I don't really care. That's just it's just funny. Look, I'm stuck using thief, but it's just funny. <laughs> All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. There's the Mimikyu. We can actually just KO Mimikyu, I'm pretty sure. Like Brave Bird into Thief might do it. Or actually, can I still lock Seed Bomb? I can still lock Seed Bomb because I took it late. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I think this guy goes down. I didn't want a sucker punch. Dude, this thing's crazy. All right, I'm taking Salt Cure damage. These guys tend to run Wide Guard and Protect. But I still have Tailwind, and they got Bax Caliber, dude. They got Bax Caliber. Um, I can just Brave Bird them and get, like, a lot of damage. I can actually Quick Guard, because I think they're Ice Shard Bax Caliber. And they might, they might just want to go for a KO. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my mons in the back just win. If I play my cards right. Because Palafin like annihilates backs with uh, close combat. So I, fo I focus down Garganical. All 
All right, uh, let's go for the Seed Bomb. He's probably going to Terra, but I still like the damage. And I'll Quick Guard here. Because I think he just wants to Ice Shard. Poison type. No Ice Shard. Whatever. Ice Skill Spear. They just KO me. Anyways, Golden Go comes in. We're fine. Um, I think here it's basically always correct to go for close combat in the back's caliber and nasty plot and there isn't much they can do versus that yeah you know one shot nasty plot up go for a shadow ball or no i make it rain because like the double up will do it if you wide guards it's like whatever next turn just go for the actual attack because he can't attack he like has to wide guard here and salt cure like there's no right answer <laughs> all right gg pretty cool all right, I might have taken a choice specs, but there are better items we can take. Like this game, this is gonna be a game where we take something crazy. I guarantee it, we're gonna take something crazy this game. I'm just gonna lead off with it again. I don't care, I'm crazy. I'm crazy like that. I can't take two protosynthesis though. Can you open your team sheet for me? No, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um, I do quite like Talonflame Iron Bundle lead. Actually, Bundle looks crazy into this game. But I'm just too bonnet. I'm, I'm just too into the bonnet. Let's do it. No, no, let's get off Palafin again. That's safe. Okay. Uh, Talonflame, Palafin, bonnet in the back. And Golden Go looks a little bit iffy. I might go Sylveon. Uh, yeah, let's go Sylveon. I'm fairly certain I can just close combat this King Gambit right now. I can just take this guy out. I could also choice ban Wave Crash and Tailwind. Let me do some math. So 205 times 1.5. 205 times 1.5. Let's just see if I can one-shot him. 307.5. 152. 304. Dang it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go Bonnet and Tailwind. See if we get moon blasted. Protect. Shadow ball. Okay, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Um, because now I'm pretty sure my play. Two fourteen speed. Still get outsped. Don't get me wrong, but I definitely don't get one shot. Terra Dark Sucker Punch should do it. And I can also Will-O-Wisp. Eh, we're still doing a lot. Yeah, like, more than half. Get a burn on the Amoongus, that's fine. Jeez, that did so much. Alright, um... Did I freak it? I might have freaked it. <laughs> Let me go Palafin. Let me go Palafin here. And... Man, I know for a fact I'm a gate rage powered. I kind of wish I never, I never tarot. Kind of wish I never tarot, gonna be honest. Let's go Sylveon here. And... Flip turn? No, that doesn't do it. I, I just have to attack. Thief and Wave Crash, yeah. You're gonna Rage Powder. Wave Crash does a decent amount. I'm gonna get outsped here. Icy Wind, okay. Well, that's game. I just I just lost that one pretty bad. Look, I, I was too into the I was too into the idea of stealing an item with the with the Amoongus. That being said, I'm gonna keep trying. What the, okay I I I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Can you open team sheet? Nope, okay, you know, I, I kind of figured um, looking at the team, but... Alright, uh, let's just use our brain. I mean, this team is kind of unpredictable. Nothing here has any clear synergy. Suppose this thing gets Rage Powder and Sleep Powder. There's an Intimidate user. Hmm. The team is pretty Golden Go weak and also very Iron Bundle weak. Let's just lead off with Iron Bundle. 
and Palafin, because that actually beats like every lead. Iron Bundle, Palafin. Uh, I'll bring the Brute Bonnet in the back. And I actually don't think we need Tailwind. We'll just bring Sylveon. Or even uh, Golden Ghost probably better. What's their deal? What's their deal here? Be Terra Normal Extreme Speed? Hmm. Okay. If they're Terra Normal Extreme Speed, my play here is just going to be to freeze dry this thing and get in Golden Go Raw. Maybe they like Aqua Jet double my Iron Bundle. Hello? Okay, um, that's fine. Kind of sucks that I'm in range of that now, but assuming that they're like Choice Banded, I can just protect and go for a Shadow Ball into this thing. Because if the Life Orb's on you, one would assume like there's a Choice Ban on this thing. And they're definitely gonna extreme speed that. They didn't extreme speed, I'm very confused. Fire Punch, okay. At the very least, I feel confident saying that they're not... Um, I outsped them, right? Yeah, I really outsped them. I feel confident saying that they're not running um, multi-scale in that case. Let's go Brute Bonnet and just Terra make it rain. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna do a lot. Decent amount right there. Should be able to just go for the... Uh... Question is, does it KO me? Let's go for a Thief onto you. Take your item and go for a Protect because I think they just Extreme Speed Golden Go now. Yeah. Take his item away from it. What is it? Assault Vet. Let's go. I'm living. I'm living. Dude. <laughs> I love that. That's so fun. That's so fun. I can't believe we took the Assault Vest to live that. All right. Um, They just like lose now. Yeah, they just like lose now. Uh, Let's just go for Seed Bomb and in another Make It Rain. That's fine, I'm good as gold, baby. All right, get this KO on cough syrup. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Sucker Punch. Make it rain. GG, well played. Interesting team. That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. But I'm kind of like in the thief tech. I feel like it's like just nice for, cause it's like knockoff, right? It's like knockoff, but in some situations better. Are they gonna are they gonna click their last move? Hello? You wanna you wanna click a move? All right, let's just uh, let's just get another game. Interesting. I, I you know, little rude. You two. Okay, there we go. Now now they're being now they're being kind. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, pretty cool team. Pretty cool team. A lot of Series 1 teams, a lot of Series 1 looking teams on Series 2 right now. Um, that being said, I really like this. This lead actually looks really good versus this team, and I'll explain in a second. Not until I'm done clicking my Pokemon. Let's go Brew Bonnet for the Sucker Punch late game, and I think I'm gonna go Golden Go because I have Tailwind. Okay. So. Did I lose? No, I think I just burned the mouse hold here. And protect. They may Trick Room on me, but I don't particularly care as long as mouse hold gets burnt. And it's also, this also protects me versus like Sucker Punch. All right, nice, we connect. U-turn, they probably doubled the Sylveon. Nice, okay. 
So with that in mind, I'm not messing with this guy anymore. I'm not messing with this guy anymore. Okay, I'm kind of messing with him, I suppose. Because he lived. I'm glad that that speed came in handy. Because if they don't population bomb here, I think I'm good. Super Fang? Okay. Um, by my calculations, uh, they should be going for the um, Aqua Jet right now. So I'm just going to Hyper Voice and Quick Guard. Follow me. Hyper Voice. Ow. Alright, uh, let's just send in Brute Bonnet. I think we're good now. Because I can just Sucker Punch Meowskarada. Yeah. Uh, we'll Sucker Punch Meowskarada here. I'll go for another Hyper Voice. That should cover pretty much anything they want to go for. Granted, I'm pretty sure I do just straight up outspeed Meowskarada. Yeah, I just outspeed Meowskarada with both of these. I can just like Hyper Voice and Seed Bomb. I could even Thief. Yo, Thief would go crazy. I'm going to Hyper Voice and Thief. I'm going to Terra Dark Thief. You know what? That's the play. Hyper Voice, Terra Dark, Thief. Give me your berry. Give me your berry. Bam. No rec Oh, I got an Assault Vest. All right, that's still fine. Look. Look, what are you going to do about it? I'm a very thick Brute Bonnet now. Hmm? Hmm? They have nothing they can do versus it. I am immortal. Dude, send out the golden. I swear if there's a golden go in the back, this is going to go so hard. It's going to go insanely hard. Hello? They're thinking. They're like, what was he cooking? Man, I was cooking with fire today. Oh, they just left. Never mind. Apparently, I was cooking a little bit too much. They they, they felt the heat and they got out of the kitchen. They knew what was good for them. Let's get one more. One more game. They knew what was good for them. They were like, ah, spicy. Okay. Uh, this is pretty cool. So. Oh, yo. Finally, an open team sheet. All right. So. Uh, Life Orb, Iron Valiant, Special Attacking Set, Choice Specs, Iron Bundle. Hmm. Hmm. What's their Flutter main item? They don't have Protect on, like, any of these things, dude. That's a Brute Bonnet lead if I've ever seen one. They don't have Protect on anything, man. Just do this. I hit him with the GLHF already? Yeah, I did. And take a sip of water. They have protect on Murkrow, which is funny enough, the only thing like you don't see protect on. Is that really the only thing we protect? Yeah, no, they only have protect on Murkrow. All right, there's the bundle. Bundle was Sash, right? Yeah, bundle was Sash. Okay, well, if that's the case. Not messing with you, sir. No, sir. Not messing with you. One. And two. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Not messing with that thing. No, I hate that Pokemon. All right. What Terra type were they? Fairy? Terra Ghost? Okay. Uh, all right. I know what we do. There's no way to prevent this one shot, basically. Let's just tailwind up to match theirs. One. <laughs> Dude, this brute bonnet's going crazy. Okay, they prevented the tailwind. What now? What? What's your item? What's your item? Assault vest? I don't have to take it. I just really want to. I just, like, really want to take it as a thing. All right, um... Just double it, why not? Earthquake, I can eat it. 
Foul play. Give me that assault vest, dude. Give me that assault vest. How much is this going to do? How much is this going to do? 44% and now I'm vested up. It doesn't really matter because he's like a physical attacker, but also we know that he has to attack here. So the sucker punch is a confirmed KO. Dude, that was the brute bonnet game. Okay, I'm really glad that we can end it off that way. Granted, we were low ladder because we we're on my test account, but still, this team went kind of stupid. This team, this team went a little bit stupid. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. Sorry if it was a little bit of a shorter showdown live. I am very tired, and I, it's 10.50 p.m. I should have been asleep an hour ago, and I still have to do my leg workout. So I'm going to do that really quick. Hopefully, I don't wake up my neighbors. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to check out the Patreon, the YouTube channel membership, the uh, the Twitch subscription. A lot of you guys have already supported me there. I really appreciate all of that because it helps me pay for the editors and the thumbnails. Hopefully, this thumbnail goes hard. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice one. Bye.